I'm Ricardo Rius, runtime engineer at Parity Technologies. And the idea of this talk is to introduce you and talk a little bit more about runtime upgrades. So that's what we call in Substrate doing a forkless upgrade. So basically, if you saw uh, Fred talk, he introduced Substrate, which I'm gonna just mention a little bit again about it. So in order to introduce runtime upgrades, we first need to say what's the runtime. So runtime is the block execution logic of our blockchain. It defines how our blockchain will be building each new block. So it's like the business logic. It's composed of many different palettes, which each palette, it's just a module that contains specific logic and we can use it as a type of Lego where we can really choose different palettes and build our our blockchain based on, on this. So Substrate provides more than just things for our runtime, which is one of the most important parts of, of uh, the blockchain. It also gives us like all the networking layer, it gives us consensus, um, and yeah, also the database. So what usually happens with most of the blockchains, it's when you, you want to upgrade the logic, it usually do a hard fork. So hard forks are always happening in most of blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, and the reason why you don't really want to always have hard forks or you want to prevent them is because then all the all all the all the logic all the all the applications that are built on on this blockchain will start to go to different places so the main idea is how we can prevent this and the way how we the looks how it looks in in substrate it's uh basically like this so we have an old logic and then we just up update with all this new logic without ever forking. So how is this possible? In Substrate, in, in order to make this, we need to compile the runtime into two different versions. So it has the same code, it will execute the same logic, but it's built on web, WebAssembly and also on native. So the WebAssembly code, it, it will be stored also on chain because it's super important to remember that we will be validating also, um, or we need to be able to validate all logic in, from, from all blocks. So in order to have this, we will always have access to the all logic that it's been stored on the blockchain just using uh, a wasm. So how does really our our blockchain, our node will select? So basically it's quite easy how this works. It will check which one of the version it's, it's newer. So if we are using um, a newer version in the wasm runtime, it will execute the wasm runtime. If we have the same version in native runtime, than in WASM, then it will basically execute native runtime because it's always much, much faster just to execute native code than executing WebAssembly code. So how can we introduce new upgrades? In order to introduce new upgrades, we can do it with some on-chain governance. We also have a pseudo palette, which makes it like a kind of superpower, so you can introduce new changes um, just by applying with one one key. Uh, there's also democracy palette, and you can even extend any of these palettes and create your your own logic here. So also something quite important to remember is that runtimes are not obligatory. There are basically an uh, optional thing that you can use in your blockchain to upgrade logic and to make it better every time. So 
how does this really works under the hood? So basically, under the hood, we have a function that is called set code, which just puts the all the all the code, all the wasm block into a specific part of our blockchain. So um, first, it also needs to validate uh, if it can up, uh, upload or upgrade the code. And in order to just check that, we need to specify uh, a change in version. So this change in version, it's what I was talking about previously, where the node will select um, if it will select if we have a newer WASM blob than the native logic. So as you saw, as you saw also in here, in the well-known keys, oh, sorry, just one, one more. Okay, so we have some default keys. And in this case, because Substrate is a key value, or it has a key value store database. Uh, we have a specific default place where we store all the code, and this is part of the well-known kit. So that's why we have this part of of um, the key selection in our when when we add the the code. So that's mainly that part. So now. What I want to show here, it's also, uh, I'm going to do a demo. I'm going to show how to do a runtime upgrade. Uh, and this is going to be for one tutorial that we have that we call it proof of existence tutorial, which basically it shows it will hash a file and then it will create a proof of uh, the just assign a, an account and create a proof that we already um, I, uh, yeah, uploaded this, this data to the, to the chain. So the first function that I will add here, it's uh, create claim, which will just basically do this. It will get the hash from JavaScript and insert it into our uh, storage. And the second one will be revoke claim. But what I'm going to show you in order to show this upgrade, it's the second function, the revoke claim. It's I'm only going to add it later. So the first thing I will show, it's just I'm going to build. I already have um, like this node. So I'm going to, so it already has the first function, the uh, create claim. So in that case, I'm going to run everything right now. And I'm going to show you how I'm just going to upload the hashes, uh, hash of one of my files. And then after that, uh, I will add the second function. So I'm using here what we have as a front-end template, which will be just our starting point. So in order to upload this WASM file, it, it's in, uh, in our compile folder, which is target, uh, release, and then in W build here we will find the wasm blob. So before just doing this, what I wanted to show is I cannot do a, right now, like just create a claim or revoke claim. So I'm gonna upload a new file and then create a claim. Okay, so I know this could be kind of small right now. Okay, so it succeeded. I created a claim, but I cannot revoke it because simply it just that function doesn't exist. It's only revoke claim. Um, yeah, it's only create claim, revoke claim. I'm just gonna compile it right now. So in order to do that, I can keep my blockchain running. I don't really need to stop it. 
So let's let's split this. Mm -hmm. oh, another one just to show it big. Okay, so so here. Again, I'm gonna just build cargo build. build release. Ah. Okay. So what I'm doing here it's I just added the new revoke claim function. Uh, but yeah, as I said, okay, I forgot one thing that it's quite important. So what I need to do right now, as I previously mentioned, is I need to tell the runtime that I just did an upgrade. So uh, in order to tell this to, to all my, to my node, I need to increase the spec version. So I'm increasing that spec version. I need to build this again. And okay, I'm just gonna explain right now like what's gonna happen because it's gonna take just like two, three minutes. And yeah, we can wait until that just finish building and all that thing. Uh, okay, so going back to to the presentation. Uh, so again, what I'm gonna show here, it's, this is basically what's gonna happen. I'm already changing the version of my chain and then my node will select the WASM runtime instead of the native runtime. Just because it's newer, the WASM runtime, it contains a new function and in order to make it like new, it's uh, I'm increasing the spec. Okay, well, this build, I'm gonna explain a little bit more. So for example, um, right now I'm just doing a simple uh, runtime upgrade, but there are some moments when we need to migrate to new data types. And just in order to do this, we have a function that it's called on runtime upgrade that it's executed before. Uh, at the beginning, when we are creating each block, like it's the first thing that executes uh, when we are doing an on-chain uh, upgrade, a runtime upgrade. And this works just to create like to create and make the runtime to be ready in order to have the new types and accept for, for future uh, block production. So as an example, uh, here's a quite simple example that it helps, it works just to, when you add the, the console, for example, the console palette, and then you need to add or you can use it for adding uh, new members to the console. So this is kind of an initial setup. It's a way to um, add a new palette and then just set some initial values there. Okay, so I think this should be done. Okay, so yeah, this is complete. It's So I'm gonna now go Okay, so I want to show you that everything is still running and I'm gonna go back to my front-end template. I'm gonna do an upgrade from here, which as I said, I'm gonna select the WASM blob here. And I'm using Alice because she is the one that has the pseudo power here. And it's now updated. Okay, so it succeeded. 
Again, it's true, but here you cannot see it. I'm just gonna refresh my front end template and I'm gonna choose the same file that I already uploaded just in order to create the hash. So it recognizes that it's already claimed. We already created the, the hash during block 13 and we are now on block yeah, 93. So I can execute the new function. And yeah, that succeeded. So basically I can now create and revoke because my template, my code has both functions right now. So this is part of, okay. I didn't execute it in this time, as I said, the on runtime run upgrade. Uh, I mean, it executed, but not with any specific logic for me. And yeah, I, with this, I'm finishing the talk.